Yes. Now we've already done uh, uh, preparations of alcohols from alkenes. One was uh, using acid catalyzed hydration of alkene. Then I did hydroboration oxidation reaction. I also solved two equations based on hydroboration oxidation. Now let us come back to one more. That is a third preparation of alcohols. Now I'm going to prepare. <coughs> okay, I'll write a bit down. I'm going to prepare alcohols preparation of alcohols from carbonyl compounds from carbonyl compounds yes carbonyl compounds right now <laughs> let me give you certain clues so that it's easy for us to do now when i uh, speak about just remember two things in your mind right so whenever a carbonyl compound like okay aldehyde suppose aldehyde Whenever a carbonyl compound like <coughs> ester, whenever a carbonyl compound like acetyl chloride, right? Uh, whenever uh, an acid is given to us, right? And if these are treated with reducing or if these are treated with some certain catalyst like nickel or platinum or palladium or lithium aluminium hydride or sodium borohydride all these are reducing agents that they, they act as a catalyst by adding hydrogen right all these will get converted or they will turn into primary alcohols only right acid not directly it will get converted to ester then it will become <clears throat> primary alcohol but aldehyde will convert to primary alcohol ester also will give you will get a mixture of primary alcohols acetyl chloride also you will get uh, primary alcohols remember this very important next one when you are treating ketones <clears throat> you are treating ketones with any of these like sodium borohydride suppose if you are picking up sodium bor borohydride if you are picking up this catalyst ketones will always give you secondary alcohols remember this if you remember this let the examiner give you any sort of example it is easy for you to solve so using these clues let us start preparing alcohols from carbonyl compounds Yes. So I'm going to pick up the basic carbonyl compound. Let us formaldehyde. Observe carefully. Formaldehyde. Right. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a question. Then I'll come back to formaldehyde because if this may confuse you. I'll go with basic aldehyde. Then I'll come back to this. Fine. Okay. Uh, carbonyl compound. <coughs> if I pick up aldehyde. I said what did I say? Aldehyde on in the presence of reducing agents like sodium borohydride. They have to give me primary alcohols now let us see in aldehydes if i speak now ch3 cho is an aldehyde correct now i'm going to add hydrogen to this what is the preparation in this one basically preparation of alcohol carbon compounds is nothing but <laughs> reduction reactions all these are reduction reactions what is reduction reaction addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen correct yes addition of hydrogen is reduction or removal of oxygen is hydrogen i'm going to add hydrogen to aldehyde now observe carefully <coughs> when you are adding hydrogen yes h and h i require some certain catalyst for this fine so suppose if i pick up sodium borohydride i said you can use nickel you can use nickel platinum palladium lithium aluminum hydride sodium borohydride now when i am using this observe carefully this h goes and now this is your site fine this h goes and adds here and oh here so what am i trying to say we are performing the reduction reaction that is that is addition of hydrogen in the presence of reducing agents so now how does this look ch3 ch2oh see i have prepared primary alcohol this is what <coughs> two carbon right ethanol now i have also got two carbon ethanol there's a lot of difference aldehyde to alcohol fine now i picked up this now I, i'll take up one more aldehyde other than aldehyde i said you can also take your uh, 
uh, what do you say acids right now let me take an acid ch3 coh i am picked up an acid which acid is this ethanoic acid ethanoic acid now acid also gives primary alcohols but not immediately it will go two step process and then go there is if they can give you a conversion convert propanoic acid to propanol use this process please so ethanoic acid <coughs> i am going to use add add h <laughs> now observe carefully this whole thing addition of h whenever you have ethanoic acid there should be something called alcohol also esterification reaction right so hydrogen will not add here first i said two step process acid plus alcohol ch3 oh acid plus alcohol in the presence of an acid gives me ester plus water you remember grade 10 question acid plus alcohol in the presence of acid it gives me ester how this is ch3coo and o what do i get ch3coo ch3 and water comes out acid plus water gives me ester acid plus alcohol gives me ester plus water so this is ester now further now to this ester <coughs> when i take this ester and i am going to introduce any reducing agent right now either uh, i can use nickel platinum palladium suppose i'm using platinum here observe carefully here you are going to add hydrogen that is what is our aim addition of hydrogen reduction process you have to add hydrogen to this so exactly break this bond here now ch3 i have to, i should have mixture of alcohols so take your pen and exactly break fine so what do we what do you get now ch3 <coughs> oh h is one now observe carefully now i should get an alcohol here also most of the students what do they do they write hydrogen here well but they they get, get they get confused with this hydrogen this alkyl group observe carefully when you are taking hydrogen while taking only with uh, ester try to pick up how many hydrogens now suppose i need one hydrogen here i need three more here so try to pick up four hydrogens that would be easy for you so what happened now one hydrogen has added here. here i am left with three more one so this hydrogen one will add two hydrogen will add here one hydrogen will add here what do i get now ch3 ch2oh both are primary alcohols observe carefully esters <coughs> you'll get mixture of alcohols right so both are primary alcohols both but remember here try to take four hydrogens because you get both one here with one alcohol the second one H2 here and OH primary alcohols. Please remember, esters will give me primary alcohols, but acid to ester, ester to alcohols. Fine. <coughs> Now I said I am going to pick up acetyl chloride. What is acetyl chloride? CH3 COCl. This is acetyl chloride. Yes, I am again going to try to do reduction reaction. So acetyl chloride, when you are picking up, try to pick up two hydrogens. Means that means indirectly, what am I taking? I am taking four hydrogens here. Nothing. Use a reducing agent. Pick up nickel, platinum, palladium, anything here. Let me pick up nickel. Now observe carefully. There are how many hydrogens? I said there are four hydrogens, right? So four hydrogens. How am I writing? H H H. Means I am trying. To add these. Observe carefully. Your H comes out with HCl. Correct. Done. <coughs> these three are there, right? Now this is your side. Wherever there is oxygen, highly electronegative atom, these hydrogens will go and add. This hydrogen and this hydrogen, these two will combine and they will go and add because I have to prepare primary alcohols. This will add here and this will add here. So what do I get now? CH three. First one. CH two. Second and OH. Look here, I have again prepared a primary alcohol. So the conclusion is whether it is aldehyde, whether it is acid, whether it is acid chloride, whether it is ester, I will be getting only primary alcohol in the presence of reducing agents. Right? <laughs> Please note this. I will meet again with ketones. Yes, we've already prepared uh, <coughs> alcohols from aldehydes, ketones, acid, acetyl chlorides, and acids. Now let us prepare uh, <coughs> from ketones. 
what did I say ketones on reduction in the presence of nickel or platinum palladium or sodium borohydride right? this is going to give me secondary alcohols I have to remember this before I go for the exam so ketones if I speak about ketones R C O R is ketone correct then I'm going to use sodium borohydride with this we are going to add hydrogen to this now observe carefully your side whenever some carbonyl compound is given to you your concentration should go here oxygen fine so <clears throat> how many should I take H2 will add here H will add here right okay I have to prepare an alcohol isn't it so what should I do should I use uh, H2H because if I add H2H, I'll get a primary alcohol. So this should not be the condition. Then what should I do? I should just add. Now, basically, I have to get an answer like this. R, C, H, O, H and R. This is what I have to get. Now, what is extra compared to this? This is your secondary alcohol. What is extra compared to this? R, R and same. Carbon, carbon, same. What is extra? Hydrogen. Here one hydrogen. So how many hydrogen should I take? Two hydrogen. So I get secondary alcohol. Let me take an example. Right? CH3, CO, C2, H5. This is your ketone. Right? Now how many carbons? Two, three, four. Propon uh, butanone. So I am going to add sodium borohydride to this okay then <clears throat> i have to add now i've added a catalyst this should form an alcohol so i'm going to add this reaction my concentration should go here these two are going to add here to the, what do i get ch3 c yeah oh and h and c2h5 what is the name of the compound now here we've got two three four four carbon carbons is butanone so here what did I get now <coughs> it is one two three four carbons but this is also butanone but this is but to all correct yes secondary alcohol this is secondary alcohol this is how we are going to do conversion of ketones to secondary alcohols.